Revolutions video. In this video, I'm gonna go over like one of the biggest mistakes I made. Now, just so you guys know, I am a mostly free-to-play player. I say mostly like low spender. I think I've spent, I've said this before, like 40 bucks in this game over the course of three months. So I am not the guy who's gonna be able to go through and spend like 2,000, 3,000 bucks on every single character and then come and say like, hey, at the end of it all, I spent 2,000 bucks on Star-Lord and it was worthless. Like. There are kind of tech creators who do that, which is a great service for us who play this game, but like your 2000 bucks is my four months of work. You know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna be able to do that. So in any case, one of my biggest mistakes was trying to divide my labor and my efforts too soon. So before we get into any of that, I drop Marvel Future Revolutions videos every Tuesday and Thursday and DC Legends videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So please like, please subscribe. And if you don't like it, hit subscribe and hit dislike. I'm okay with that as well. So. In any case, what do I mean by like dividing my labor too soon? So basically I felt as though once I got to the end of the epic campaign with Storm and did a few like blitzes and stuff, that it was okay for me to go ahead and start on Captain America. Now you look at Captain America, I still have not been able to get past Maestro with him, not because I've tried and couldn't make it, but because it takes 20, 30 minutes to do it. And as you can tell, I'm doing this video on my break. Like I don't have, four, five, six hours a day to dedicate to a mobile game. And rarely do I have like 30 minutes in one day where I can like outright just focus on a game. Like 10 minutes here, 15 minutes there, but not straight up. I got to fight Maestro for X amount of time. I don't even know how long it's going to take, but my tries have been like 20, 25, 30 minutes. And so it's like, I don't really have that kind of time to sit there and just focus on it. So Captain America has fallen to the wayside because I'm stuck at the one boss. Uh, then, once I got to it, I started Spider-Man. Now, you see my Spider-Man level is higher. That's because when I went with Spider-Man against Maestro, it took me like 15 minutes. I did it once. And because Spider-Man's moves naturally make him dodge and elusive, it was a much it's much better for my style of play because I can be impatient when it comes down to it. So I was able to get through Maestro faster, and now he's going through Dark Dimension and all that jazz, or I kind of started with him. Now, by dividing the labor, I'm gonna go ahead and show you where I am with my storm. So my storm right now, I have one six star costume piece on her, and then whatever the best battle badges I could get at the time from farming and blitzes and um, dark damage, things like that. Wherever I can get it, that's where I go. And that's what I've used. So here you see I have just one six star piece, three five star pieces, and grinding costumes is hard. However, I feel as though it also makes a huge difference in their power level and how strong they are. I mean, of course it does, but once it hits six, it feels like there's a gigantic leap from five to six. Omega cards as well. I just recently got like two of the cards up to five star um, because I divided my labor too much. So once I got to the end, I went back and was like, okay, started with Captain America. That should be easier to get through. And it was easy to get through like the epic campaign missions before Dormammu and then getting to Maestro, of course, that's the issue with, with Spider-Man, same thing, it was pretty easy to get through. We're just letting it auto in the corner somewhere where I'm doing something else. But once I got to this level of getting past Maestro, here's where I feel like I made a mistake. I started putting five-star pieces on my Spider-Man and I wish I had, I'm not gonna remove them now, I wish I'd taken these five-star pieces and actually used them to make another six-star piece on my Storm. Because quite frankly, when it comes down to PVP, my original plan was Storm's gonna be my PVE farmer, I'm gonna use her for blitzes, raids, all that other stuff, and then Spider-Man's gonna be my PVP champion. I am not able, like I do not do PvP that much, at least not yet, because my characters are not up to snuff in my view. Like right now, I can take my Storm into PvP, which I don't think she's a great PvP uh, hero at all. But right now with my Storm in PvP, I think I'm like goal two or goal three, which is basically good enough for like a dimensional duel, which I don't necessarily enjoy, not because dimensional duel isn't fun. I think the game concept would be fun. It's just that with Storm, dimensional duel is not fun. 
with Spider-Man Dimensional Duel is fun, but he's not to the level of where he can compete. So yeah, I'm in goal two right now. Having barely played, as you can see, I haven't done anything today, but I have goal two with Storm. Here's where I feel like, what I feel like I should have done, and this would be my advice. Once you get your character past that threshold of Maestro and you're going into Dormammu and you're thinking about adding a second character, go ahead and start the second character, like what I'm doing with Doctor Strange now. However, when it comes to crunching and farming up all those costumes, I really, really wish I had just left if they had that 2K bundle for the four-star costumes, which was, was really nice. I really wish I had just focus all of my costume resources on to Storm. The battle badges, they just come from farming anyway. The costumes, they, you can get some from farming in Epic and Campaign, but you're getting one, two star pieces, which means you're stacking up for a very long time. And so battle badges, sure, bounce down to Spider-Man. Specializations, I still feel as though the right way to do specializations is get your, five, uh, your four active, Get them to level five on your primary hero that you're using for PVE farming, and then start doing specializations for the other. So I have my four specializations here, they're all to five. And the reason why I say that is because this 60% success rate, yeah, I swear, even when it gets to 70%, I swear it feels more like it's 10. Like you keep going at it, keep going at it, keep going at it, and you keep getting enhanced fail. So I would even say maybe level four on those active skills. And then I started putting the specialization resources in the Spider-Man, which that part I do not regret. The only, and because specializations are farmable. So, and in fact, I can go into Spider-Man and show you this. Like specializations are a much easier resource to get because of the way they have it set up. Costumes are not, because it's really hard for you to come buy them without money. So like the specializations here, as you'll see over to the side, is right here, I believe, raid reward ticket. I buy two of those every week. You get two every week, which doesn't seem like great, but better than nothing, I guess. Boo, whatever. So I use those uh, rave reward tickets based on like the specialization I need at that time. So the resource isn't as hard to come by. And if you can get through ultimate, which if you focus on your primary hero first, you will be able to get through ultimate around like 450,000 relatively easy. Like you'll, you won't be able to AFK at 100%, but then you're not having the battle forever. Wait for the other three to come and then you can actually probably get through uh, ultimate raid relatively easy. Use that, stack those specializations up. Then I can move them over to the secondary hero. But as far as costumes go, I wish I had just left Spider-Man and like four star costumes and then only focus all the other four star stuff, five star stuff onto my storm so I could take her up to having at least two or three six star pieces. That would have been nice to have. So right now what I've done is I've switched back. I now have storm. I'm going to focus strictly on her because the PVP rewards, they're nice, but they're not as good as the PVE rewards with regards to building up your heroes. And so I would rather, much rather now, spend my time focused on Storm, getting her through PVE, um, raising her level, and then having her do the farming. So like that is where the thought process is for me right now is I'm switching my attention back over to Storm. I'm still gonna farm specializations for Spider-Man until I get those specializations up to level five. And then I'm gonna have to make a decision about which direction I'm gonna go in. I'm not 100% sure of what I wanna do and how I wanna do it. But that is the, the basic concept that I have. Costumes are going to be refocused on Storm right now. Spider-Man's got all five star anyway, so he's fine for the moment. Then once I get sick, all six star stuff, and all my six star, all my costume stuff for Storm is all Queen of Wakanda, so it's all a matching set. It's not regional costumes. I don't have any regional costumes, despite trying my damnedest to get them, I don't. So it's all one set, it's all a five star set. If I can get all those up to six star, I feel like that'll take it to the next level to where I can basically solo a lot of stuff if I want to. Um, then based on those PVE resources I get, I can drop them down to my Spider-Man and that would have been to me much more efficient in terms of getting my Spider-Man up to a better level. But now I'm kind of in this meandering middle, this kind of uh, purgatory of where I'm stuck with both of them. Like she's farming well now, but I feel like she would have been much better off if I had started focusing on costumes and Spider-Man so soon. So, 
In any case, that's my advice to you guys. I hope you like it. Let me know what you feel. Let me know what you think as a free-to-play player, as a, low, as a low spender. What are the difficulties you've run into? I've had a few comments, and I'm going to actually start like replying to your comments in these videos because I never have the time to do it, actually. Like, I want to like give thoughtful comments and thoughtful replies, and I can't really do that all the time when I'm texting, so I'm going to try to do it in the videos. But in any case, thank you guys for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.